everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm beginning work on the east gable end of the house. The west gable end is completely done, the roof is done, the boards are done, the flashing is done, and it feels good, really good to, to say that. And I'm excited about starting the exterior boards on the east gable end right now, but first I've got to do the flashing that goes underneath them, which transitions from the exterior wall boards on the top to the greenhouse roof below to make sure that the water sheds on top of the greenhouse roof instead of behind it or below it. Uh, and that's uh, what I'm creating right here with this flashing. Uh, I'm using pretty much the same setup that I did last time. I have a sawhorse and I have one board uh, screwed to the top of the sawhorse. And then there's another board that's on top of that board and I have the metal sliding between the two boards. I clamp the two boards together and I can uh, make the bends. But I've modified it slightly and what I've done is I've added a couple of screws. Now, last time as I was moving the uh, piece of metal through, I didn't only have to worry about the alignment of the metal. And by alignment of the metal, I mean I've got these uh, marks every couple feet that are four inches from the edge so that I know where to pinch it in here. I didn't only have to worry about that alignment, but the top board was literally free floating on the top and it became a little ambiguous as to whether or not the top board was lined up with the bottom board because you're sort of blind, you know, you're looking back and forth between the two sides and you didn't know. So I added these two screws in the back. When I put the screws through, I didn't hold the boards firmly together. In fact, I intentionally made a little bit of a gap so that as I'm clamping them together, if the screws are, are back over here, uh, if I'm clamping them together over here, you know, you can get a good clamp there, but if you have a gap in the back, when you clamp it, you get a real tight squeeze right at the tip there, which is where you want it. Uh, and that seems to be working better for the bend, and also it's just a lot easier because I don't have to fumble with all this stuff. So I just uh, slid through uh, some more of this flashing. I'm having a little bit of doubling up on the, uh, the bend in here. The bend that I did last time goes to about here to help support it. I've also had some boards over here, and River said that he might help me out later on uh, holding this up. But... Uh, for now, it seems like it's okay just kind of resting on those sticks over there. I'm going to bring this uh, other clamp around on this side, and I want to be clamping on this side of the of the screw, so I'm getting a nice tight grab. Oh, I'm noticing my alignment's a little bit off, and slide that in a little there. Okay, clamping it in, and then I just go along it with just with the uh, uh, palm of my hand. I kind of bruised my palm up last time doing this, but I don't know. What are you going to do? Right, and I'm just bringing it up in a couple of passes. I do one pass where I bring it up a little bit, and then I go back after I've gotten it bent somewhat and do the final bend. So that's looking okay. Oh, I want to avoid that kind of stuff by keeping this as straight as I can. Okay, that's working out pretty well. So, uh, got to keep that straight, otherwise you get kinks in there. And then the next step is I've got this little metal bending tool, uh, which is for HVAC stuff, and I'm making the drip edge with this. And the idea is that the flashing comes down four inches and then does a five and a half inch run over the greenhouse roofing and then the structure of the greenhouse roof, and, uh, and then has about a half an inch drip edge. Pretty good there. I keep kinking up over on this side. So that, that's the basic procedure. I'm going to loosen these clamps up, slide it through, and then repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, I have a 50 foot uh, section of this that I bought, and I thought it was going to be not quite enough because each side is a little more than 25 feet, like 25 and an inch. Uh, but uh, the roll is actually slightly bigger than 50 feet, and I'm able to get both of it out of it without having to add any. So that's it. Just doing flashing, wall boards, repeat the whole process again, and uh, you know, we're running out of areas of the house that actually aren't done, and that's, that's a nice feeling to have. That's it. Thanks for watching.